everyone, and welcome to episode 93 of Unboxing Wednesdays for books arriving in stores on Wednesday, August 8th, 2012. Yes, I'm back. Sorry, everybody, Ricky's not here right now. I know everybody loves Ricky, but Ricky will be joining us in a little bit to reveal last week's contest winner. But for now, we're going to ask Rob to go ahead and open some boxes. By the way, everybody, head on over to our website, stadiumcomics.com, where you can now purchase a limited edition print of Tiger Ricky for only $49.95, plus tax and shipping and handling. First up, we have this Amikami Aresia statue. She is the sexiest of the Green Lanterns, one might argue. It's a plushy Dalek, and it talks. Those who are responsible will be held accountable. A vintage Silver Surfer shirt. All right, looks like uh, we've got this Finn shirt. This is Finn, right? From uh, that adventure show? It's Jake. Oh, Jake, sorry. We've got this cool Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe poster. This is the cover of issue one in poster form. I'll hold it up a little higher there for the people, Rob. Higher, higher, a little higher. A little higher. Moving on to the collected editions, we have Flash Chronicles Volume 3. This is some classic Flash action. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures, now in softcover trade paperback from IDW. This is Volume 1 of the old Archie Comics uh, Turtle series that was based on the cartoon show. I fondly remember buying issue 1 of this book at my local 7-Eleven. New and hardcover from Marvel is the insanely popular Scarlet Spider series. This collects issues 1 through 6. X-Men FF, now in softcover. OMAC, issues 1 to 8. This is the complete series of the New 52 title, which only lasted 8 issues. Here is the final trade paperback of DC Universe Online Legends. This is volume 3. And here's the first story arc from the relaunched Deathstroke series. And this is really cool, Scott Pilgrim Volume 1 Color Edition. And this is a hardcover, reprinting Volume 1 in glorious color. Really cool. Exterminate! Exterminate! Moving on to the smaller press books, so we've got an unprecedented third printing of Star Trek The Next Generation Doctor Who crossover, Assimilation Squared Issue 1. When was the last time there was a third printing of an IDW comic? Do you remember? Probably Turtles. Ninja Turtles, I would say. If you missed out on it the first time around, here is your second chance. It's Revival Issue 1. This is the second printing. Uh, I read this book the week it came out, told everybody it was going to be a big hit. Uh, sales were pretty lukewarm on it for the first two weeks, and then all of a sudden, three weeks in, everybody heard, that, heard the reviews and uh, the word of mouth spread on it, and uh, it was a sellout of the first issue. So here is the second printing. Uh, it's a pretty awesome series. Definitely check it out. Issue 2 should be out sometime later this month. Magic the Gathering Spell Thief, Issue 2, comes with a playable magic card. Here's the Magic the Gathering variant. Star Wars Lost Tribe of the Sith, Spiral, Issue 1. Adventure Time Presents Marceline and the Scream Queens, Issue 2 of 6. Transformers Robots in Disguise, Issue number 8. And here's the Transformers variant. Atomic Robo Real Science Adventures, number 5. From Dynamite Comics, Pantha. Issue 3, and not to be outdone, we have the male version from Dynamite, Thunder. Archie's pal Kevin Keller visits the London Olympics in Issue 4. The Creep Issue 0 from Dark Horse features a cover by the one and only Frank Miller. Red Sonja, Atlantis Rises, Issue 1. From Aspen Comics, we have Idolized, Issue 1. Voltron Year 1, Issue 4. Alright, now this is getting a little confusing, now we have... Ninja Turtles Classics micro series. And this is Raphael. It's a color classic book. The Massive issue three. I'm really enjoying this book from Dark Horse. Check out the first two issues if you can. Punk Rock Jesus issue two of six from Vertigo. The magazine slash uh, comics anthology Creator Own Heroes reaches issue three. Star Wars Night Errant Escape number three. American Vampire Lord of Nightmares issue three of five. G.I. Joe Real American Hero number 181, Mike Allred's It Girl number 1 from Image Comics, The Fairest issue 6, 
And from Valiant, we have Archer and Armstrong, issue one. This is the first cover. The second cover. And here's the variant cover. Call me a fanboy if you if you will, but I did read a advanced copy of this book, and I really liked it. Uh, I've pretty much liked every Valiant book that's come out so far. So we'll see how long that lasts, uh, but I'm enjoying pretty much everything from them at this point. You are an enemy of the Daleks. You must be destroyed. Okay, moving on to the Marvel books, we have a second printing of AVX Round 5 and a second printing of AVX Round 6. Based on the television show, we have Earth's Mightiest Heroes Avengers, Issue 5. Fantastic Four, number 609. This is one of the titles that just uh, started up again recently after ending and switching over to FF. And now it's going to end again as part of the Marvel Now relaunch. Sure. Scarlet Spider, number 8. Captain America, number 16. Another one of the titles that will be ending as part of the Marvel Now relaunch. Avengers Assembled, number 6. New Avengers number 29. I think this is the only AVX tie-in this week. And here's X-Men Legacy number 271. The rebirth of Sabretooth continues in Wolverine issue 311. Are you sure this is right? I thought issue 312 was supposed to come out before 311. Oh, they're, they're back to like traditional numbering now? Okay. Here is the Wolverine variant. Here is Daredevil Annual number 1. Incredible Hulk number 12. It looks like it features Wolverine this issue. The Mighty Thor issue 18. Also one of the titles ending as part of the Marvel Now relaunch. But uh, I've seen some images today of the cover of Thor issue 1. Which will be starting sometime in the next few months. Well with all the news of the Mars lander this week. This seems very appropriate. Space Punisher issue 2 of 4. We can only imagine that the success of the Mars Curiosity rover will lead to a future where we have Space Punishers. It's inevitable. In honor of the 50th anniversary of Spider-Man, Marvel has been uh, publishing one last issue of several popular Spider-Man series that have been in print over the years. This week it's the Sensational Spider-Man, and this is issue 33.1. So if you were collecting Sensational Spider-Man a few years ago, and you've got issues 1 to 33, you no longer have a complete collection until you get this one here. Spider-Man, the crossover between the Ultimate and the regular Marvel Universe, hits issue 4 of 5. Here is the Spider-Man variant. Venom number 22, another awesome cover from Tony Moore. Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe issue 2. Issue 1 turned a lot of heads. I'm sure we'll get a lot of the same from issue 2. And a new series launching today, it's Gambit issue 1. How long do we think this series will last? Will it have staying power? Usually Gambit ongoing series don't... Uh, don't last too long and uh, we'll have to see what happens with this one. Here is the variant cover. Moving on to DC we've got Arkham Unhinged issue 5, Suicide Squad number 12, The Ravagers issue 4, Rage of the Beast Boy. Some sweet sexy hot Rob Liefeld action. Deathstroke issue 12 featuring Lobo. Resurrection Man number 12 with a cover from uh, Francisco Francavilla, one of the most awesome artists right now. Legion Lost, issue 12. What's that? Not enough Rob Liefeld in your diet this week? Bam! Grifter number 12, covered by Rob Liefeld. Frankenstein, Agent of Shade, issue 12. Superboy, issue 12. Here's Demon Knights. Batman and Robin, issue 12. Batgirl, issue 12, features a battle against Batwoman. Before Watchmen, Ozymandias, issue 2. Here is the combo pack cover, and a cool variant cover by Phil Noto. Batman issue 12 has guest artist Becky Cloonan working on the book. That's pretty cool. I enjoyed some of her work uh, in the past on stuff like Conan. Be interesting to see how she handles the Batman. Here is the combo pack cover. Here is the variant cover. And the 1 in 100 black and white variant. Alright everybody, it's time to talk contests. And uh, well, let's talk about last week's episode by bringing in the man himself. The one, the only, the insanely attractive Ricky Lima oh oh some hate coming from over there Ricky <laughs> hey, this is rough so did you have fun last week doing I the had, solo unboxing I had tons of fun are, are you gonna open your own comic store now and just do a rival unboxing Wednesdays no no just to drive us into the ground no I want to keep the glory that is stadium comics okay good up. good up. then you may live for another day 
I have to say that the comments were overwhelmingly positive. I don't think I saw one negative comment. Did you see any negative comments? No, I didn't. That's good. If I could hug and kiss all of you, I would. Well, you should, uh, maybe that'll be this week's contest. At the beginning, I kind of made a joke about the Tiger Ricky print being yeah. available. I, I, now, <laughs> since, since making that joke, I hear that things are in the works to, to make this... I'm going to I'm gonna try. I'm going to try and make this Tiger Ricky print. I'd like to make it like a poster, like really big. Right. But uh, I'm kind of poor. So I don't okay. know if I can do that. All right. Kickstarter? No. Okay. Kickstarter no, for no Tiger Kickstarter. Ricky, everybody? No. Yeah? We should do a whole Tiger Ricky uh, infomercial. You know how like they do uh, the, the infomercials on like the Magic Bullet and yeah. stuff? <laughs> and just have a bunch of people sitting around a kitchen and you're just Shit. talking about your Tiger Shit. Ricky print? Yeah. Another funny story from Unboxing Wednesday is I tweeted at Scotty Young about my comment about him yes and he he actually responded he I said, saw that he said don't worry you don't have to die yet which i thought right was awesome he will come to my house and i will have to kill myself and uh it's awesome that we we were able to get scotty young to view an episode of unboxing wednesday well, he probably he now watch. looks he now knows what this corner of our store looks like yeah everybody wants to know who won last week's contest so take it away all right, so I'm going to give out another gold, silver, and bronze. First honorable mention goes to uh, Harriel Ruger, who said that um, in the hammer toss, Beta Ray Bill would win bronze, Thor would win silver, and Batman would win gold. How Batman can throw a hammer farther than Beta Ray Bill? Beyond me. Second honorable mention, the silver medal goes to Mega2DG who said that uh, in the year 2016, golf will be an Olympic sport, and the bronze will go to Nick Fury, silver to Commissioner Gordon, and the gold to Alfred Pennyworth. You know, that exactly what I was thinking. Pennyworth would totally rule the links. The first prize goes to Jordan Crush, who said that in water polo, bronze would go to Team Penguin, silver to Team Hulk, and gold to Galactus. In commemoration of this event, I drew a picture. Check it out. There's Galactus, and he's shooting his ball at the Hulk. See? And there's like, the crowd, they're all like, yeah, go Galactus. So congratulations, Jordan Crush. You win a copy of Hawkeye number one. Well done, Ricky. Well done. Good job. Stab me in the back. Watch him. For this week's contest, I'm going to give away one copy of Archer and Armstrong Issue 1 from Valiant. Uh, as I said earlier in the episode, I read this and I enjoyed it. I don't know if you guys will, but uh, I'm going to give you the opportunity to win it. What I want to know is, have you tried out any of Valiant's new books? If so, which ones do you like? Which ones do you not like? If you haven't tried it out, do you have any plans to? The best comment from the week will win the prize, and I uh, can't wait to see your answers. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to check out all of our cool shows on our channel, our redesign channel. Check it out. We've got all kinds of cool graphics and fonts and pictures and links. That's at youtube.com slash stadiumcomics. Don't forget that you can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. We'll see you all next time for episode 94 of Unboxing Wednesdays. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your comics this week. When the f*** do I get to host Unboxing Wednesdays?